Alright, hey everybody, Liam Does Game here and welcome back to another episode of Unturned. So today we're going to do the Kuwait loot guide. We're gonna go in every location that is marked and we're gonna talk about what you could find in each location. Now we're gonna go over probably all of them, but I may have forgotten an item here or there because it didn't spawn. But basically what I did is I went on single player, made it extremely high loot and just looted there, you know, and basically listed what I found. Now... I'm gonna talk about all of them now these are all the marked locations and keep in mind that in the future this might change some items may be added in future updates and from there you know i can't list them here because i don't know about them so yeah if you guys want to see more videos like these make sure to drop a like subscribe if it's your first time here and if you guys are interested to join a mythical giveaway the link will be in the description below and yeah let's just start so first we're gonna talk about the sa'ar air base which is the military base on this map and over here you could find Avengers, military clothing, military knives, smoke grenades, low caliber military ammunition, military magazines, sandbags, GPS, tank traps, earpiece, sun crack, rock sack, detonator, special forces clothing, military night vision, coyote pack, attachments, mirage, monarchist, grenades, spec ops clothing and raw explosives. Next, we're gonna go over to the Al Wafra, which is a farm. Now, over here, you could find the colonizer, chainsaws, compound bows, crossbows, fertilizers, planters, seeds, farmer clothes, low caliber civilian ammunition, melee weapons such as pedals and sights, dates, chemicals, blowtorch, socket wrench, steel wheelies, and flares. Next, we're gonna go over to El Abdeli, which is another farm. Now, over here, you could find snipers, kias, echoes, ranger attachments, low caliber civilian ammunition, farmer clothes, crossbows, colonizer, arrows, seeds, fertilizers, wildflowers, scimitar, chainsaws, socket wrench, blowtorch, steel wheelie, chainsaws, and attachments. Next, we're gonna go over to the Mutla Ridge, which is a ranger lo loot location. Now, over here, you could find the whip. Taklovka, snipers, gas, glow, binoculars, melee weapons, bandanas, barcalavas, ranger attachments such as seven times and ranger barrels, militia magazines, al Musait here, low caliber ranger ammunition, ranger magazines, tape, teeth clothes, civilian vest, scimitar, and food. Next, we're gonna go over to the Burgen oil fields, which is a construction site, and over here you could find Bago bricks which can be salvaged into normal bricks, melee, metal scrap, craftables such as rope, nails, metal bars, and so on, construction clothes, industry clothes, blowtorch, brick buildables such as brick walls, brick ramps, all of that, generators, spotlights, militia magazines, balkalavas, bandanas, ranger attachments, ranger ammunition, machete, and katana. Next, we're gonna go over to the Bubayan Island, which is the dead zone of this map. Now over here you could probably find the best loot on the whole map and this is what you can find. Blue batteries, orange batteries, galvanizer batteries, pulse set magazines, pulse magazine, blue module, capacitor crate, sun palm, avancine pocket, electric fence, armor plate, spectral cloths, orange modules, ionized seaweed sheets and spectral stone. Next we're gonna go over to Khawali which is a town. Now over here you could find melee weapons, the whip, slippers, craftables such as rope, glue and tape, money, food, scrap, civilian vest, civilian night vision, oak bear which is basically a revamped 1911 and smitar. Next we're gonna go over to the Bayan Water Towers which is another construction site and over here you could find construction clothing, melee weapons, craftables, metal scrap, Beko bricks, brick buildables, generators, spotlights, wire, and blowtorch. Next, we're gonna go over to the Jahara Industrial, which is a construction site. Now, over here, you could find ranger clothes such as barcalavas, bandanas, ranger melee such as katana, machete, butterfly knives, cobra sights, craftables, bago bricks, sniper's kia, ranger ammunition, blowtorch, viper, catalyst, low caliber civilian, police clothing, civilian night vision, handcuffs and keys, oak bear, scimitar, thief clothing, al Musaitir, and taklovka. Next we're gonna go over to the Sula Bia, which is a town, and over here you could find briefcase, which is an NPC item, craftables, melee, slippers, whip, glow, craftables, paintball guns, catalyst, low caliber ammunition, police clothing, oak bear, viper, handcuffs and keys, 
civilian night vision, teklovka, al Musaid here, ranger clothing, thief clothing, ranger melee, sniper skia, militia magazines, ranger att attachments, scimitar, and low caliber ranger ammunition. Next, we're gonna go over to Kuwait, which is the largest city on this map. And over here, you could find food and water, civilian clothes, steel wheelies, jerry cans, blowtorch, batteries, flares, craftables, civilian vests, chemicals, car jacks, tires, batteries, medkits, vaccines, adrenal and morphine, tablets, diving tank, snorkel, diving clothing, police clothing, low caliber civilian ammunition, catalyst, vipers, generators, spotlights, craftables, brick buildables such as brick walls, brick doorways, all of that, bag of bricks, construction clothing, pickaxe, fire axe and firefighter clothing. Next, right under the Kuwait city there is a small dock which is called the shark and over here you could find food, medical supplies, melees and craftables inside those vases. Next we're gonna go over to Salmia which is a town and over here you could find yourself craftables, melees, fire clothing, fire axe, flares, briefcase which is an NPC item, food and water, ranger ammunition, ranger attachments, ranger clothing, thief clothing, ranger melee such as katanas, machetes and butterfly knives, echo magazines, echoes and sniper skias. Next we're gonna go over to the islands which are called Um Al Maradim Kubar Island and over here you could find melee, craftables, binoculars, civilian vests and food. Okay, so finally we're gonna go over to the Kiran camp. Now over here you could find melee such as torch, paddles, pocket knives, clothes such as civilian clothes, and melee diving tanks, paintball guns, slippers, snorkel, glue, paintball, food, tape and binoculars. And yeah, that is the loot guide. I hope that you guys did learn something. If I did miss anything, let me know in the comment section below. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!